Hello everybody and welcome to another ball review here on the channel. This time for the Sheriff Ball and the Season 48 Ball Bundle or the Wild West Bundle as it's called. And this is going to be a very interesting bundle and I think there is a lot of players that has been waiting for balls with the stats that will be presented. Before we take a closer look, make sure that you do hit the thumbs up button, also subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications. For those of you that do want to take the next step in the game, go to patreon.com slash golfclashtommy and sign up for one of our tour or tournament guide packages and improve your gameplay today. Link directly in the description down below. So, no one escapes the long arm of the law, it's the brand new Sheriff Ball. Power 4, top spin boost 4, side spin 3 and his wind resistance 0. Dash across the plains with epic power and top spin boost. Become a dead eye with all, with all new season 48 ball. Precision boost 5, side spin 3, wind resistance 5 and then it's a power 0. With pinpoint accuracy and legendary wind resistance you will outgun them all. And honestly, yeah, it's um, we can say what we want about the precision stat. I know I've been against it, and I still think that's a stat that shouldn't really be in the game, but that's just how it is. Can't really do much about that. We start with the Sheriff Ball. I give this one in tournament a 6 out of 10, and I base that alone on the fact that this is going to be a very valuable, valuable ball on par 4s, where we do have a tailwind or par fives where we do have a tailwind we can reach close to green obviously the top spin boost four and together with the power four and then adding the wind resistance zero makes this one an absolute not an absolute beast but it makes it a very very good ball in a tailwind situation obviously this is not a ball that we will use by any means in headwinds we're not going to use it in crosswinds either if it's not a sure thing that we will get around the green because obviously the wind will be high when it comes to the second shot and that's something we need to think about. The needle is plus two, it's a round ball, those type of things obviously are important but I land in a six out of ten because I do rate the balls uh, with, like in a, general, in a general way. So if I would be just be thinking about this one as a send it ball, it would be a much higher rating. But looking at the different factors in tournament, where can we use this ball? I land in a 6 out of 10. Tour play, I give this one a 1 out of 10. It has wind resistance 0, which is crap. It does, in that case, have side spin 3, fine. It has power 4, I mean, we can live with that. And the top spin boost 4 won't really make a difference. So this is not a ball that you're going to use in tour play. I think the wind resistance alone is just speaking completely against that. Because when you play in tour play, it's all about the shootouts. And if you sit there in the end in the shootout with a much higher wind than your opponent, you will always be in a big disadvantage. And you will find yourself adjusting in between clubs uh, more times than not. Because, again, you have a much higher wind than what you might be interested in having. Season 48 ball, a power 0, precision 5, side spin 3, and wind resistance 5. It has a needle of, let's press, it's plus 2, which is fine. I give this one a 7 out of 10 in tournament, and I base that on the fact that it is a par 3 ball, but with a bonus. It's a par 3 ball with a precision stat where, sure, there will be some that do hit a great ball, but... For me, that has been playing with Alpine Ball and other precision balls that do have um, a worse precision stat than 5, honestly, um, I, you know, I have a hard time to see you would hit great on this one. And this is a perfect ball to bring out in scenarios where you might hit a lot of greats, you might want to secure that do hit a perfect ball in a pressured situation, you might want to play a very aggressive rough bump or a sand bump or very aggressive line on a par 3, but you might not do that generally because you're not comfortable with hitting perfect. So there will be many times on par 3 situations where we can go a bit more aggressive and we can also in that case ensure that we do hit a perfect ball and give ourselves the chance more times than what we would be doing if we do hit a great ball. This ball can most definitely be used in some par 4 situations, but the power 0 definitely removes uh, many of those times, such as headwind situations and crosswind situations. But if we do have some tailwinds on a par 4 where the green going for green is not possible, then this ball could be used there too. And obviously adding the wind resistance 5 together with the precision 5 may, and also having the side spin 3 
this is a brilliant par 3 ball i think again there is value using it in some par 4s on par 5s i don't really see much use on this ball and that's why i'm leaving it as 7 out of 10 if this ball would have had a power that would be power 2 power 3 we would be if not very close to a 10 it would be yeah it would be a 10 so tour play i give it 3 out of 10 it's a power zero that brings it down very low for me i think this once again is a tournament ball sure i might be a bit harsh about the tour play rating but i do not see regardless what wind resistance you have i do not see a power zero ball being used on any uh, any 30 and very very rarely from second tee as well uh, and obviously going into shootouts that would complicate things as well as most of the shootouts are are kind of built of power, uh, power two up to power four balls as i've been talking about more or less in every ball review a lot of things to say about this bundle i think this is a really really good tournament bundle but when it comes to grinding bundle it's not it's not really a good ball in my opinion i would love to hear your thoughts about it and especially about the precision stat because that precision stat as i said in the beginning i don't like that stat i don't think this that stat should be in the game because i mean hitting perfect is a skill thing but at the same time this is what we get in the game and it would be stupid not taking advantage of it when we do have the possibility thank you so much everybody for watching this ball review i wish you the best of luck in your golf clash game and before I do that, we're obviously going <laughs> to take a look at the video. Oh my god. Oh, I'm not going to cut this away, by the way. I'm just going to run with it. So here we do send to the ball here. And we start with the sheriff ball. And the needle is a plus two. It's a round ball. Uh, and then after that, we're going to take a look at the season 48 ball. Um, and um, we're going to scroll, scroll, scroll. I need the ball sort uh, sorting function. Let's go. So centering the ball. And that's a round ball there too and then it's a decent you look at that look at that precision wow in the end so now thank you so much everybody for watching good luck in a gold clash game